Boys, let me tell you, my chat is so damn happy right now, it's ridiculous. We just witnessed what was most likely, let me rephrase that, what was the greatest update patch of all time in gotcha history. If you have not seen what's going on with patch 1.6 for Honkai Star Route, well, congratulations. If you have not liked the video or subscribed yet, do it right now! Guys, the thing is, everybody is talking about how good this update is, but nobody is telling you why they did it. I actually talked to a developer of Honkai Star Rail, and we're actually going to get into the nitty gritty and the reasoning of why they decided to do what they did for 1.6, but I do have a developer on speed dial. We're gonna talk to him at the end of this video and really pick their brain. Crown of the Mundane and the, the Divine, Gift of Truth, Dr. Ratio. You read that right. From the start of version 1.6, event warp to when version 2.1 ends, complete the Trailblaze mission, The Blue, a moment of peace, and unlock the mailbox function to claim Dr. Ratio, free five star, the hunt, imaginary, in the mail. That's right. Everybody got ratioed for version 1.6. And this shit is incredible. Because I've heard rumors that this dude is insanely powerful. A very rare archetype that every free-to-play player needed as well. A completely free 5-star. Allow me to say for everyone, Genshin could never. This post alone has set the entire community on fire. It has put wars between Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail once again. This shit was trending worldwide. And I'm going to pull up a great tweet for you guys. And let's let it go ahead and say it for yourself. Dr. Ratio for free. Genshin could never. And it's the goddamn truth. And you're asking me, why is that the truth? And that's because, and uh, unfortunately, Reddit mods, you can't delete me from saying this in my own video. Yeah, I put this on Reddit and uh, they deleted my post and shut down the post because I said this following quote. It really goes to show what harboring a toxic positive community where anybody criticizing the game whatsoever gets blacklisted and bad mouthed by the entire community but a game where people are allowed to say whatever they want to say speak their minds and really criticize the game and get better actually gets better every update and the devs get more generous and more generous every single update surprise surprise when you can actually communicate what you want and need from the game it gets better so maybe we should pull our head out of Hoyo versus ass and realize constructive criticism isn't being toxic being hard it is let's go ahead and continue for this crown of the mundane and divine uh, update for Honkai Star Rail and let's see everything that we got for version 1.6 starting with three new characters we have Ruan Mei a Harmony Cryo unit who I have heard is going to be beyond broken we have Dr. Ratio who's the best five star in the entire game because he's free and we also have Zhui Yi four star quantum character that I have also heard is going to be Quite, quite, quite good. Uh, and the best thing is, now that we have Dr. Ratio for free, this means we don't have to roll on him, which is even better because Shui Yi is also going to be on the Ruan Mei banner, as well as Ting Yun and a March 7th, which will be great in case you need Harmony characters because two of the best Harmony characters in the entire game are in here. And Ruan Mei can do something very unique, which she does break, or she does increase weakness break efficiency, which means she will make it easier to break the shields on the opponents. And not only once they're broken, she will extend the break that they experience she is going to be meta defining she is going to be incredible and she is going to ruin me whenever the f she damn well pleases we also get a blade and a kafka rerun banner i don't recommend rolling on kafka quite yet unless you're preparing for black swan because her banner is quite terrible i believe it's like hook natasha and sushang i wouldn't recommend rolling on it but the blade banner is fine if you do want a blade shit even mine might pick up a blade because i've always wanted one but most importantly i'm getting a ruan may i actually cannot wait her designs are beautiful. She looks 
incredible. And the update just looks beautiful. Okay, lots of light cones. Really don't recommend ever rolling on a light cone unless you really want to fully invest on a unit, which to that all gray goes, pull the character, pull one light cone, don't roll on the goddamn Eidolons. The light cones look great. They're always the best light cone for the character they have their picture on. Maybe I'll pick one up for Kafka because I'm a loser simp. We'll say regardless, all the light cones look great. I'm sure they're great. We have no information on them yet, but that being said, you put the Ruan May light cone on Ruan May. You, you put the Dr. Ratio light cone on Dr. Ratio. You put the Blade light cone on Blade. You put the Kafka light cone on Blade. Congratulations. You can go ahead and skip the guide videos that I'm sure will be posted in mass whenever the characters actually come out in the game. Congratulations. We are actually still getting a new story quest. Yes, you're right. Ruan May's tits do look incredible and so do doctor ratios this will be good what's it about i don't know something about herda's space station having glados in it i'm pretty sure it's just the story for portal 2 imported into honkai star around to be honest that's fine with me anyways moving on forward we have even more events this event broke my heart because we get to take care of all these cute little cats and we don't get one at the end of it regardless it should be a fun little cute event we get to play with cats. It'll be a lot of fun. Careful, Genshin Enjoyers. You stay away from this one. We all know what you do to cats. Let's go to this next one. Virtual Scent Venture. Don't really remember what this is, but, you know, it's free rewards. Good shit. Ruan May, another free temple. Insane. Honkai Star Rail does it again. We also get double rewards on Planner Fissure and Realm of the Strange. And the events and content does not stop there. Because then we go into new permanent endgame and events. We do have an upgrade to Simulated Universe Gold and Gears. A new DLC function for Simulated Universe. Where it adds a lot more RNG and more things to grind. And more ways to customize the way that you play in a Simulated Universe. This will be a reason for everyone to come back. As well as a new mode rivaling memory of chaos called pure fiction it will be a lot of fun this is kind of like uh, memory of chaos but it's really good for erudition characters whenever you kill an enemy it'll instantly respawn you go for high scores you can compete with your friends in pvp share your scores online it'll be great and you get a free links and tons of great rewards uh new pure fiction every four weeks new memory of chaos every four weeks it is going to be absolutely awesome a new swarm king scarabaz essentially they fused goku with the beetle put him in the game it's going to be nuts environment visuals a new seclusion zone around the space station from what i've seen so far it's very ominous it's very bleak it's very cool and in the other events is there's going to be new echo of war forgotten hall can be cleared very quickly now there's going to be new forgotten hall stages uh, daily training difficulty lowered. You can do your dailies easier. More material stages that are temporarily unlocked, even if you haven't done the new zone yet. Meaning new players can get in, farm the carrot or farm the uh, rewards for the characters they don't have yet, and save themselves the headache. And there's more team qualities, and there's more memory of chaos stage. We go up to four as well. Boys, it is looking very, very, very good for the future of Honkai Star Rail. Now, I would like to let you guys know, why are they doing this? Why are they giving us a free five-star? Well, first of all, them giving us the character Dr. Ratio is gonna be very good for, first of all, two reasons. One, it's gonna make the players happy because now we all have a character that we can play with, which will re-incentivize people to get back on the game and prepare for 2.0. Honkai Star Rail's analytics, objectively, have been getting a little bit lower, but this will set the stage, prepare everyone for Pentecone, and prepare everybody to get back in new heights play the new adventure play the new main game revamp it's going to be great very smart business move but two it does a double dipper what does genshin impact have probably the most of a rabid twitter fan base this will once again re-incentivize people to go on Twitter and do posts like Dr. L plus Ratio and really get the Honkai Star Rail agenda taken over Twitter, which will increase the player base. And if you can't tell from me telling the truth, it has already begun trending worldwide and in the Philippines. Dr. Ratio for free. Genshin can never be. Twitter movement is now stronger than ever. More Twitter equals more players. It'll be great, but hopefully we don't go to the dark side 
mind like the Genshin Twitter community we've already seen. This is the greatest patch in gacha gaming history, and it makes me very proud to be a content creator that covers Honkai Star Rail. It makes me very happy. Obviously, I do all sorts of things, but knowing that I took 1.5 off as a little vacation, which was nice for them to prepare us for 1.6, which is arguably the greatest gacha pass of all time, which I feel like I say a lot whenever I refer to uh, Honkai Star Rail's update patches, but everything just feels very good. Everything just feels very cohesive, and the really nice thing about Honkai Star Rail is imagine this i feel respected as a player i feel respected for my time and i'm just merely happy playing the game it's been three years since genshin impact ever got a free five star they have aloy but let's be real nobody gives a fuck about her where oh where is the free eye okay, for genshin impact. and don't get me wrong do i like shitting on genshin impact players yeah of course it isn't good fun but you know, they'll always take it a little bit too serious and get their feelings hurt. But just remember, if you can have an active dialogue with your developers and you don't just shit on anybody who criticizes your game, maybe the game would be to the spot that you want it to be. It's good that players are allowed to give constructive criticism to Hawkeye Star Rail and make the game better. The game does get better every single update and has done so since launch. And that is a objective fact. And Penicone will also be fantastic. Tons of new characters, Penicone being teased. If you thought the 1.6 update patch was good, just wait till 2.0. But it looks like Honkai Star Rail is getting better and better every single patch. I still cannot believe that we're getting a free doctor ratio. And to be honest, we're just happy. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. And I appreciate y'all's time. Catch you on the next one. Peace, boys.